Hey team, so that was an excerpt from one of my compositions called Primal Instinct. So what I'm gonna do here is break it all down, show you what the different limbs are doing, how they work individually, and how they work together, and a little bit of insight into what I did with each of the parts. So let's get in there and have a look. Let's start by looking at the feet. And this is a good one because I don't have an individual rhythm with each foot, it's just collectively, they're just playing a paradiddle on the bass drums. Digga 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 paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. And what I do though, I'm making sure that I've got good dynamics and I've got that accent and then ghost notes. Because that was when I was putting this piece together, there was a very tribal, you know, that primal sort of thing. And so I wanted that, that quarter note to really come out, that duh, duh, duh. Duh. And so with my feet, I make sure I ghost those little notes in between. So it really has that heartbeat, just bang, bang, pounding really, really solidly. So it really complements and supports the rhythms that are going to happen on top. So anyway, let's go in and let's just listen to the feet by themselves. So now let's look at the right hand. Now the right hand plays between five different sounds. There's two toms, my 13 and 12 inch tom. There's also a mini timbali, an eight inch mini timbali, and two temple blocks. The, I just call it T1 and T2, the, the two highest blocks. And there's always movement with the right hand. It's always moving between because I wanted that real shift in rhythm. But also the two toms have a bit of a counter melody in it because the, the actual rhythm goes doom ba da ba doom doom ba da doom ba da ba doom doom ba da doom ba da ba doom doom ba da doom and you got that doom ba da ba doom doom ba da doom ba da doom ba da doom and I really wanted them to stand out in this part of the composition as you know hooks and melody things so the listener has that oh yeah okay I can hear that that's like something they can relate to because it gets quite busy when I've got both hands in there so let's jump in and have a listen to the right hand by itself Now let's look at the left hand. Left hand plays between four different sounds, three of the higher toms and also the red pearl block. Now this moves down melodically, you can hear it move down when you really listen to the pattern, um, down through the toms and also incorporates the block. And the rhythm for it goes like this, two, three, four. Yeah, it's a little bit um, harder to link onto straight away, latch onto the rhythm because it doesn't start on the beat, it starts on the one E like that. So um, yeah, it can sound a little bit off-putting at first, but let's have a listen to just the left hand by itself. Now let's talk about both the hands and how they work together. This is really cool. I really enjoyed, like when I'm composing, I love getting different things, breaking it down and see what sort of combinations I can get. And this was a real fun one to put together and it ended up sounding really, really nicely. Now we've got those, the right hand has that doom, doom, those two main toms in there and the little timbali. And what I've got with the left hand when I'm using the higher drums, because they have a similar sort of timbre or tone quality to the high timbali, they blend in really nicely. So I've got all the patterns moving down through there, as same with the blocks. I've got the block with the left hand um, and also the two blocks with the right hand, the way that they work in counterpoint. Now the sticking, what I've actually done is sort of like, like cleverly disguised a five stroke roll. So that's what the hands are pro um, pretty much doing, just a five stroke roll, but I've broken up between all sounds to have each one all of a sudden have an individual identity. Um, as well as working really well together. And yeah, like I think, yeah, if I heard it, I wouldn't know that that was a sticking anyway, just because the way it's all mixed up. But yeah, a little bit of an insight there. So let's jump in and have a listen to both the hands together. Well, there you go, team. That's an excerpt from my composition, Primal Instinct. It's such a fun piece to play, and this is only sort of a small taste of it. There's a whole bunch of different sections with different foot ostinatos and hand parts and everything like that, which is really good. And I'll look at developing some more of those in future for some of these videos. But anyway, guys, thanks heaps for taking the time to check that out. And don't forget, visit my website, grantcollins.com. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any thoughts, write down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you can find out when I release more of these. Anyway, cheers, guys. Have an awesome day. Ta.